Greetings to the one I speak to you concerning the intelligence that is within you. And this intelligence can never, ever lose its place to artificial intelligence. And we are living in a time of AI. And AI would definitely rob you of that intelligence that is within you, especially if you are not aware of that intelligence that is within you. And that is what brings me to the subject of the relationship between Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia, who was Neville Goddard's mentor, and Neville, who was his student. And Neville was unaware of this intelligence that is within. Having grown up in the Caribbean, where most of the people have this colonial mentality, having one time been in physical and still is in mental slavery as the people has born and grew up in the colony. And they are so colonized mentally that they believe that the Bible should be interpreted literally and believe that it is secular history that is pointing them to look outwardly. Therefore, they never get in touch of the intelligence that is within. So what am I saying in short? Neville, just like many, many people all around the world, has been looking to alter false intelligence. Just as many people are looking at an outer economy and they are allowing that to affect their psyche. And that was happening in 1933 because it was a time that they referred to as the Great Depression. And that was a time that Neville had this burning desire to travel to Barbados. And he had no work and he had no money. But Abdullah taught Neville how to utilize this inner intelligence. And he, 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 he taught him that if he would only sleep in his mother's home, in his imagination night after night, while he was residing in New York, that this trip would be made possible. And it wasn't until Neville learned to trust that inner intelligence that is within himself, that he was able to travel to Barbados first class. But we would have seen where Neville at one time was thinking from the third class mentality. And Abdullah had to correct Neville's mentality by slamming the door in his face and turning his back upon him, showing him that he would never tolerate a third class mentality. And all of that was symbology to teach your people how to vibrate out of mental slavery. So I'm saying to you, my brother, my sisters, when the Bible tells you that the kingdom of God is within you. It is actually teaching you that the book, that, that the Bible, sorry, is a book of mind science. And that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. Therefore, when it says that you must seek first the kingdom, it is saying that you have to seek to know yourself first. And you have to find the kingdom where our possibilities exist within you. That is why you are told that when you would have found this kingdom within yourself, that all these things that you so desire in this world, like Neville did desire at the time, all these things will be added unto you. So my brother, my sisters, what am I really saying to you in short, is that you have to get rid of all form of mental slavery and stop looking outwardly and get rid of the Jesus and Mary story that has been keeping you in lack, mediocrity, poverty and most of all mental slavery and learn to look inwardly by first of all loving yourself believing yourself and embracing yourself so abdullah was teaching neville Gadden that secular christianity is the cause of all people who live in third world country to be living in poverty therefore not until people get rid of secular christianity that they will be able to live their life sumptuously 
and being in a place of affluence because they believe in their inner intelligence. So this inner intelligence will teach you how to transmute energy into form or energy into matter because everything is energy, vibration, and frequency and you are a mass of energy. Therefore, you need to understand that money is energy. That is why you're told, come and buy milk, wine, and honey. Come and purchase it without money. Because the intelligence that is within you is what creates money. The intelligence that is within you is what creates all science and all technology. So for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, there are people on this planet who have been given away their power, believing in a God or a Savior outside of themselves. But I'm saying to you, it's time for you to take back your power by looking within yourself and get in touch with that inner intelligence that is within you by learning that God in man is definitely man's imagination and that the, the sun, as in the S-U-N, parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun but without the sun as in the sun there is no life and there is no light so those who told you that jesus is the light of the world they've been lying to you and keeping you brainwashed because no s-o-n can ever exist unless therefore be the s-u-n and you're told in psalms 84 11 that the lord thy god is a sun s-u-n and a shield and no good thing with he withhold from you. Common sense will teach you that the sun has never withhold any good thing from humanity. For the sun is what powers all of humanity and gives all of humanity its energy. But we can see down in the Caribbean and all these other third world countries, the hospitality industry, where a people is benefiting from the sun, while another people is serving them as slaves because they've been brainwashed from the school system, the religious system, and the political system. But I'm here to set you free by pointing you to look inwardly and saying to you that the day will come when the sun, the S-U-N, of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings, according to Malachi chapter 4 and verses 2. And that will only happen when you understand that the Bible is a book of mind science. Therefore, I'm saying to you that true righteousness and true healing can only come from a discovery of the light that is within you. And that light is the sun that is within you. Because everything that the brain processes that must be materialized in this three-dimensional world must be received by the light that is within you. In other words, by the solar plexus, that chakra that you cannot see, your invisible self. So get in touch with your soul. That is the real intelligence that is within you. So do not let anyone steal your soul away. And do not sell your soul for money. Because money is your servant. You are not the servant of money. You are the master of money. Money is not your master. Therefore, my brother, my sisters, the game that has been played on you is the head and the tail. But you are to be the head and not the tail. You are to be above and not beneath. You are to be the lender and not the borrower. And Abdullah taught Neville how to make the scripture become a reality in his life by teaching him how to look inwardly to discover the intelligence that is within. That infinite intelligence that is within you. Use it to the best of your ability by tapping into your creativity. So, with that being said, my brother, my sisters, and with the wind blowing, I want to thank you very much. And the wind is vindicating everything that I'm saying to you because you have to work with all of the elements, and you being the fifth element, it's time for you to redeem yourself. So, if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, it really resonates with you, it makes sense to you, and you haven't subscribed already, I'm definitely encouraged to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video also if you like to follow me on instagram or you like to follow me and tiktok you can follow me at black mad guru and if you feel strongly to support this work always remember that there's a paper link that is down 
below if you feel strongly led to do so. Now, I want to mention that I have a course that is called The Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And The Inner Sun Engineering to Create Your Reality Consciously. And it all has to do with everything that I was saying here to you concerning how you need to be in alignment with the sun. For the sun, as we can see, whatever it shines upon, it brings forth in abundance. Therefore, you have to get in alignment with the sun if you want to live in abundance and prosperity. So if you feel strongly led to do so, I would definitely encourage you to check it out. Also, if you do not want to take the course, but you want to be a part of my Patreon community, feel free to do so. We have a lot of educational videos that are there that will help you to grow and expand. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.